Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Firdaus Hafizi bin Sabri I'm from BITZ My metric number is B03202037 Hi, my name is Muhammad Ikhwan bin Wal from S2G2 And my metric number is B03201022 Hi, my name is Nick Mahafiq bin Nick Fikri. I'm from BITZ S1G2. My metric number is B0320102. Assalamualaikum, my name is Hashim Muhammad from BITZ S1G1. My metric number is B03191465. So, for the requirement one, here is the addressing table for all the network inside the topology. Here we can see the HQ, we have red, orange and blue VLAN. For branch, we have purple, green and router to router subnets. Below we can see the device addressing table. For all the device inside the topology, here is the addressing table for them. For the devices that requires the HCP, it is stated that the re device requires DHCP. So now, for the requirement 2, there are 3 VLAN on the HQ side, which is red, orange, and blue. So for the S2 switch, I created 3 VLAN. For red, which is VLAN 10, for orange, which is VLAN 20, and for blue, which is VLAN 30. To show the VLAN, we use the command show VLAN brief. For the S3 switch, I set it to have two, on, two VLAN only, which is VLAN 10 for red, VLAN 20 for orange. For switch 1, I set it to have three VLAN, which is VLAN red, orange, and blue. So now, moving on to requirement 3. In requirement 3, I set all the ports that connected to the host to their respective VLAN. On the S2 switch here, we can see the ports that are connected to the respective VLAN. For VLAN red, we can see the ports that are inside the VLAN red, which is F02, F03, and so on. Same goes to VLAN orange, which is only one port that are connected to the host, which is FA022. Same goes to VLAN blue, which only have one host, and the port that are connected to the host is FA023. For the trunk port, I set the trunk port to be FA01. To show trunk port, we use show interface trunk. For S3 switch, we can see the VLAN is red and orange. For red, there are only one host connected to the port, and the port is FA02. And I set the FA02 to be in VLAN red. For orange VLAN, there are three hosts that, it, that is connected to the ports, which is F03, 4, and 24. So the, the respective ports, I set it into the VLAN orange. And for the trunk port, inside this S3 switch, I set the trunk port to be FA01. For S1 switch, I set only two ports to be connected into VLAN blue, which is FA04 and FA024. For the trunk port on this S1 switch, there are three ports, which is F01, F02, and F03, which FA01 connected to the router, FA02 connected to the S2 switch, and FA03 connected to the S3 switch. So now, requirement 4. For requirement 4, I set 3 inter sub-interfaces for the VLAN inside the HQ router. To see the sub-interface, I use show run. 
and here I set the sub interfaces which is FA0 slash 0.10 for VLAN 10 FA0 slash 0.20 for VLAN 20 and .30 for VLAN 30 which is 10 for red, 20 for orange and 30 for blue for the encapsulation, I use encapsulation.1q followed by the number of the VLAN which is 10, 20 and 30 for the IP addresses is the gateway for the respective VLAN for VLAN red I use the 192.168.5.142 and for VLAN 20 which is VLAN orange I use .150 and for VLAN 30 VLAN blue I use .158 first of all we will look at the requirement A which is branches and HQ network uh, we, use, uh, we configure routing protocol with RIPv2 first of all we will press hash run at the branch one and as router IP version 2 Also have a router ID version two, and for the branch two, session going on, and yes, have the router ID version two. For the requirement five B, ensure uh, all the hosts in the branch network can be between them and only web server, main foreign server in HQ network. So I have used the standard access control list as it had in the branch 1 and also branch 2 as we can look in this also I should add the branch 2 and now we, we will try to pin uh, for the purple and green also orange server Try to ping green server, which is twenty seven two dot five double two nine and two for the G two. We will look Yes, we can ping at the G two PC G two, and we then we will look at the orange server. Yes, we can ping. Also, we can ping at the orange server. Now we try to ping from the uh, green server. Next, we try to ping J2, which is uh, at the orange server. At the orange server, also we can ping. Next, we try to ping from the red server. Ping to the green server. Unreachable meaning that uh, the SDL is working because the uh, from from this network uh, measurement has blocked from this uh, network. So next we try to ping green server. Try to ping G4. Also unreachable meaning that the SDL is working at the branch two. Let we try from the blue server. We try to ping at the purple server first, which is try to ping and unleashable meaning that SL is working for the blue server. Then we try to ping green server from from router branch two. Try to ping G one. That's one which means meaning that SL is working for the blue server, which it blocks the network from the server to enter at the branch two. Next, our requirement is all hosts in the red network and blue network be able to communicate only between themselves and also orange server. First of all, we try to ping from red server to blue server. So 
just do take this and go straight to the page and do the same thing. Yes, we can ping from red server to the blue server, which is from M4 to B1. And yes, we try to ping uh, orange server. Let's see, we take J3. Yes, the results show we can ping each other. Yes, we try to ping from blue server. We try to ping from J1, which is orange server. So we can pin. For requirement 6, configure DHCP server for networks. All host addresses must be configured using the DHCP server except all hosts in the orange network. Red server will assign addresses for red VLAN while blue server for blue VLAN in the HP network. The DHCP server for branches is blue purple server which will assign addresses for the green and purple network. This command IP help address to configure the router as a DHCP relay agent. First, we go to red server service DHCP and fill in the full, full name, default getaway, DNS server, start IP address, subnet mask, maximum number of user 14, save. M3, M4, M5, M6, M7, and M8. Next, for blue server, fill in the full name, default getaway, then the server, start IP address of host for the blue network is B1, must use it, must use the CPU server, then B2 also, the CPU server. Next, purple network. If I get away, then it's the host for purple We're using the CP server P2 also and P3. Last green green full name default get away, then it's a first start IP address, something must maximum number of users and then save the host. G1 DHCP, G2 DHCP, G3 DHCP, and G4. For the third, the DHCP server for branches is Purple Server, which will assign addresses for the green and purple network. Purple Server, Green, and Purple. Last, use common IP helper address to configure the router as the DHP relay agent. PRCH1 router. Then exit. Then PRCH2. the HQ router Our domain name 
group 5.u10.8u don't mind and make sure that the address is the same with our web server address that is 192.168.5.149 now go to our web server and go to IP configuration make sure that the DNS server is the same address as our purple server that is 172.5.63.253 then we go to service and html here you need to import all the picture of our group member and edit the html language to edit our web page now we can check our web page by going to the web browser and type group 5.utem.edu.my here you can see this is our web page and you can click any of these group members and you can see their information here Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Hashim Muhammad from BITZS1G1 and I will be configuring and testing the mail server we click on the orange server then we go to desktop IP configuration and as we can see here since the web server and the mail server using the same server we already have the IP address and the subnet already set up and now we go to services then email and we make sure that the email service is on and after that I will set up the domain name I will make it mail server.com then we click set then I will be making two users which are G2 and G3 As you saw, I made the password for both of them, just one to three. And this is basically the way to make a host user. But now we need to configure both host user we made, which are G2 and G3. We click on G2, then we go down to mail, then we start configure the mail. The name was G2, email address, we set it up as mail server.com, but we need to add the ad for this specific host, which will be G2 at mailserver.com and for the server information we have the incoming mail server will be mailserver.com for both the incoming and for the outgoing also the username as you saw we set it up at g2 and the password was 123 then we save and now we need to do the same thing for g3 we click on g3 we go to desktop mail then we start to configure the mail the name is g3 the email address is g3 at mailserver.com then the same as before the incoming and the outgoing mail server is mailserver.com username is g3 password is 123 then we click save and after we finish setting up g2 and g3 now we have to go to the purple server which is in this case the dns server we click on it then we go to services then dns now we have to enter our name which is mailserver.com then we enter the address which is 192 168.5.149 and now we add it as you can see we added it here after that we need to verify that the mail server we set up for both these hosts are working let's try sending a message between these two and try to send the message from g2 to g3 and vice versa we click on g2 we go to the email then we compose a message to because this is g2 we want to send the message to g3 so we write the email for g3 which is g3 at mail server Dot com. Subject is hi. The message is how are you? And now let's try and send it. And as you can see here, we got the message send successful or send success. And now let's go to J3 and check if the message was actually received. We go to G3 and we click receive. And as you can see here, we got the message. And when we open the message, we see the content which is how are you now let's try to reply we click reply and as you can see here automatically the email for g2 will be in here because we replied for the message if we wanted to compose the message again we have to write it ourselves but since we click reply it just say i'm fine and now let's send it to g2 we get the message again send success let's close g3 open g2 we go to the mail then we click receive and as you can see here we got the reply this is the first message from g2 to g3 and this is the reply from g3 to g2 